a wall of fame was designed in the faculty in November 2021. Hello viewers, you are welcome to the wall of fame of the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences initiated in the deanship of Professor Kenny Chibos of Ofokansi on November 2021. Look at the categories of this wall of fame. We have the gold category, individuals, alumni who donate for the benefit and the progress of this faculty and according to the handsomeness with which they donate, will be hung, their pictures or images will be hung in this gold category. Then we have the next uh, rank, the silver category, we ha then have the bronze category. We have the platinum category and of course the diamond category. So these are the different categories for individuals, the images of individuals who have donated handsomely to this faculty. It says, notice this space is waiting for your patronage. Be a good alumni. Donate to keep your alma mater on top as truly the first among the works. You can see already an image of Ecomet Farm Limited. Ecomet Farm Limited. And also the images of the former Vice Chancellor, Professor Benjamin C. Ozumba, and the current Vice Chancellor, Professor Charles A. Ewe, University of Nigeria, Minnesota. This is indeed a remarkable idea. The wall of fame of the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, University of Nigeria, Sukarno. We began to reach out to our alumni. So most, many of them started organizing themselves, class by class. And in October last year, the 1985 set of our, of our alumni had a homecoming. Um, and they came and they made a donation to the faculty. They donated a, a tabletting machine you know, that, would, that, would, that uh, would be helpful in teaching students and in, in doing you know, some kind of research in, drug, in, in tablet formulation. It's a nine-station rotary tablet press. Which, which, uh, which, we, which has been installed at our pilot plant unit. And then also within this that same last year, also we received a donation from another alumnus, a classmate of mine, who donated a, a bigger tabletting machine to the free, a, a 27 station rotary tablet press. That also has been mounted, and uh, we'll also soon begin to produce basic drugs for those facilities. Then the pylon plant unit of the faculty, which has been lying fallow for more than 30 years, you know, has been resuscitated by this administration. You know, we've been able to inject a lot of funds into that uh, pylon plant unit. It's a, a place where, you know, um, it's a place for research and then some kind of basic manufacturing methods. So in the matter of days or weeks, we'll begin to manufacture basic things there like vitamin C tablets, White, I mean, and chewable, and even paracetamol tablet. Then from there, you know, we hope to also make make further progress. Um, of course, at the back of this building, there's a giant generator lying there, which the faculty also acquired you know, a 300 kV soundproof generator, you know, COVID. So these are part of the things that are in the manifesto, which have now been implemented, so that when when uh, when there's power outage like we have now, we can. Know, I will be able to have something to um, to hold on to, so that uh, our staff can do their normal academic work and research. And then like, uh, teaching can also go on, and our practices can go on. So arrangements are on to get that uh, plant connected to the powerhouse, uh, to the main building. You know, so. The Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences has produced many best graduated students of the University of Nigeria. It is on record that on January 2015, Nkiruka Ozioma Ibano from the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences emerged the overall best graduating student of the 2013-2014 session of the University of Nigeria and Soka during the 44th convocation with a cumulative grade point average of 4.88. On November 2017, Ms. Augusta Ofondo of the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences became the best graduate student of the University of Nigeria and Soka of the 2016-2017 session during the 47th convocation of the university with a cumulative grade point average of 4.9. On November 2018, 
Mba Mary Amarachi of Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences emerged the overall best graduated student of the 2017-2018 session during the 48th convocation with a cumulative grade point average of 4.94. It appears that as the years roll by, the cycle of brains come closer to clenching a cumulative grade point average of 5.0 on the 5-point scale of the University of Nigerian Super. Kudos to the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences. From March 31st to April 3rd, 2022, the faculty held a grand homecoming and its golden jubilee. We'll be rolling out the drums this week to celebrate our products. That's why we're having this golden jubilee. We do a slash homecoming. Homecoming. So it's a time to appraise ourselves. You know, 50 years in any man's life, in any woman's life, in the life of any organization. You know, um, it, it remains an important milestone in the life of that organization or any or, or any human being. 50 years, because only few people are able to celebrate two golden jubilees in a lifetime. So, so is, this is a time for us to um, do a self-assessment. How well have we done? Have we done um, our job as academics, producing pharmacists? How well have our products, those we have produced over the years, how well have they done? Then this is also the time to also be to be thankful, to be grateful to God for sustaining sustaining us and this program these past fifty years. So. Um, the Golden Jubilee is a time of celebration. It's a time uh, for our products, for our alumni to come together. Many of them have not been visited, visited since they graduated. Some for more than five years they haven't been visited. So it is an opportunity for them to also visit the alma mater and see things for themselves. Uh, they will be conducted around the faculty. There will be a faculty tour. They would have an opportunity to interact with uh, staff and students. And then they would also have an uh, opportunity to interact with the vice chancellor and the, the university administration. And also, we expect that it should be a time for them to give back to the faculty. And give back to the faculty is also a way of giving give back to society. Yes, because many of them are out there doing well. As in, most, many, many of them have, are doing well in their areas of practice. Nationally and internationally, are doing quite well. Many are captains of industry, many are. Um, managers of big top managers in, in, in big establishments in administrative pharmacy practice in hospital pharmacy practice in industrial pharmacy practice and they are top notch managers so this time for them to also come back and uh, look at what we are doing and then to assess how well we are still doing um, or still uh, living up to the mandate for which we are set up and then we expect that they uh, should also make a statement in terms of support to the faculty support to the faculty, giving back to the faculty for where they were all emerged. And it will be a time for them, you know, for reunion. Those who haven't seen themselves for many years, who have the opportunity to see themselves, exchange addresses and contacts, and then and then um, and then begin to discuss the way forward, you know, chart a new way forward for the faculty because they are important stakeholders in the affairs of the faculty and the, and the university. So it's all celebration this week and then we will cap it all on Sunday with the Thanksgiving service to thank God for what he has used this faculty to accomplish in terms of human resources in the pharmaceutical sub uh, subsector. M my advice to our students in general and particularly to our graduating students as the final year, I would always advise them to remain focused. Um, thankfully, they have people they can look up to as role models. Those who have already, uh, who, already who have already succeeded in their own sphere of practice. Because there are, as, as, as pharmacists upon graduation, there, there are so many opportunities for you. It's left for uh, it's, it's left for our students to choose uh, the area of practice they think they are, you know, they are best suited for. Whether they will be in the industry, in the community, pharmacy, in the hospital, um, the academia, in, in, in federal government agencies, as well as administrators and all that. So, but um, whichever area they they choose, they choose to spend their career in.
I mean, there, there are rural models in each of these areas that are people who have distinguished themselves in in every you know in every um, facet of pharmacy practice. So I want to urge, I want to advise them to remain focused and finish well. Remain focused and finish well, and then work hard because at the end of the day, hard work still counts. Hard work still counts. Being disciplined, um, doing what you should do today, I mean, not leaving off what you should do today, leaving it off until tomorrow. Being time conscious and managing your, themselves and their time well. You know, there is always a reward for people who are disciplined, who work hard, and who manage themselves and manage their time well. So I want to urge them to always strive for excellence in whichever area of practice they find themselves. Strive for excellence and strive to practice ethically. There's no need to cut corners. Do, you know, anybody who works hard consistently will finally um, succeed in life. There's no need to cut corners and to get involved in also practices. You know, or do anything that, that is capable of dragging the image of the faculty or the university to the mud. They have to understand that as, you, as they graduate, that, that people look up to them as ambassadors of the university. People also look up to them as, as ambassadors of the faculty. And so they have, they have a name to protect, an image to protect. Not just, just, you know, not just their own image, but the image of the faculty at the university. That they shouldn't do anything that's capable of dragging uh, the image of the university mode or the faculty the mode. And that they should strive always for excellence, for ethical practice. The future is bright for students and graduates of the resplendent Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences of the prestigious University of Nigeria and Soka. The Gustibus non est disputandum. There is no disputing about tests. Move on to the fore.